Yeah. Save the pennies to stack the pound, my G. You know it's all money. It's cash. That's an umbrella for rainy days, my G, because it ain't all sunny. sunny. Ten years out on the financial crisis, we still don't have the infrastructure, perhaps, to prevent the next one. And I think this is where digital assets can really help, because an efficient digital asset uh, can really solve um, some of the key problems in global liquidity. You know, the world's got trillions and trillions of dollars tied up in liquidity just to get around how clunky the movement of value is around the world. If with a really efficient digital asset, something like XR XRP, and that's what we believe will be the, the, the most efficient, um, you can now reduce trillions and trillions of capital from being tied up. So you can make those transfers instantly as a bank or as a payment provider or as an enterprise without having to have money pre-positioned all over the world. And the white paper for Interledger came out, but we tried to kind of put all the pieces in, in place for it. No, because remember, Ripple always was different from Bitcoin in that you could put anything of value in it, right? So this idea of kind of, we would call it IOUs or balances, but really being value agnostic and that then being the engine for, for the exchange of, of that thing of value. Um, but having the combination of ILP with XRP, we think that's the that's kind of the, the killer formula. Yeah, that so now you can have any type of value, like any currency, right. but also any type of ledger. So like anything from a centralized ledger to a blockchain, etc. Solo Scrooge, sending peace and blessings to you all out there. Hashtag Solo Nation. How's it going, my people? Hope everyone's well. Appreciate you all for the love and support of the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We're giving you updates on Sologenic, XRP and Corium. Also hit the like button. That helps push the channel through the algorithm and helps the channel grow. Helps get the information to those that need it. So a few old clips there from Chris Larson. And as you heard him saying, with a digital, with an efficient digital asset like XRP, you can reduce trillions and trillions of capital from being tied up. And this is what the big players are interested in. This is what the world is interested in. This is what the world needs. So Ripple posted, in Africa, less than 10% of payments are digital and finance leaders in the region are excited to embrace the opportunity of crypto for cross-border payments. Now is the time for business to leverage crypto. So now is the time for business to leverage crypto. It says learn why value report. I will leave that in the description for anyone that wants to read it. So shout out to Black Swan Capitalist. He says... XRP's future in Larry Fink's words. Read between the lines. It's not just naive, it's downright stupid to believe BlackRock isn't positioned in Ripple XRP. Do I want to pay in euro or dollar? Yeah. And I said, okay, dollar. Then I looked at it. I'm still being charged at 3%. Terrible. Okay? So, and when you think about all the people who send money, you know, they may work in one country, send money back home. They generally do that through organizations that charge 5 to 10%. Yeah. There is a need, whether it's a Libra or something else, to democratize the exchange of foreign currencies. Today with computers and electronic market, there it, shouldn't be that it should be 10 basis points, five right. basis points. That it's not percent. And so I actually believe the idea around Libra, I don't think we need to create a new currency, but the technology to instantaneous uh, calibrate all the currencies, that should be done. Right. Who gets squished by that? Who are the money, the oh. middle man who are making money on that? The banks. You know, we're making that so an old clip there from BlackRock CEO, Larry Fink. And at times when the, the market's low, it's good to show these old clips to remind ourselves of why we hold these digital assets. The big players know about these digital assets. The big players are involved. Come on, my people. So you today posted XRP and XRPL's hidden superpower revealed by a Ripple engineer. So senior engineer at Ripple, Neil Hartner, decodes really special XRP and XRPL ledger feature. Let's have a read. In a recent revelation, Neil Hartner, a senior staff software engineer at Ripple, has unveiled a hidden superpower of XRP ledger, XRPL, that may revolutionize the world of decentralized finance. Hartner's discovery centers around the concept of single-sided deposits within XRPL's automated market makers, AMMs. This innovation allows users to contribute liquidity to pools even when they are unable to hold one of the assets required for a particular pool due to restricted access. Hartner shared that he learned that as long as individuals Individuals hold one of the assets, they can perform single-sided deposits and withdrawals from the pool, limited only to assets they are authorized to hold. Nick Bogolas, 
former director of engineering at Ripple, also joined the discussion, revealing that single-sided deposits were a feature he championed from the early stages of development. Bogolas expressed his satisfaction that the concept made it into the final version of the XRPL's AMM. How does it work? The conversation among XRP enthusiasts revolved around the mechanics of single-sided deposits and withdrawals, with users seeking to understand how fees could be earned and whether the process involved automatic conversion of assets. So Neil Hartner posted, not required to sell assets in a single-sided deposit. It changes the ratio of assets and effective exchange rate. Suppose the pool has 10k XRP and 5k USD. So exchange rate is 0.50. If I deposit 1k XRP, now the pool has 11k XRP and 5k USD. So exchange rate is 0.45. Now if there are any offers on the order book higher than 0.454 then those offers will be matched by the AMM as part of the deposit rebalancing. So you maybe end up with something different than 11k XRP and 5k XRP in the pool afterwards. Does he mean 11k XRP and 5k USD in the pool afterwards? Hartner clarified that single-sided deposits do not necessitate the sale of assets. Instead, they alter the pool's asset ratio and effective exchange rate. This means that users can provide liquidity with a single asset and any offers on the order book matching the new exchange rate will be automatically balanced by the AMM during the deposit process. Very interesting, very interesting. So as long as individuals hold one of the assets, they can perform single-sided deposits and withdrawals from the pool, limited only to the asset they are authorised to hold. So does that mean that if in the pool with Sologenic, if we've got Solo and XRP, someone might be just required to hold Solo. You can just hold Solo or you can just hold XRP. So we've got to find out more on that. Very interesting. XRP and XRPL's hidden superpower revealed by Ripple Engineer. So shout out to Metaman X. It says David Schwartz speaking on XLS30 AMM automated market maker for the DEX decentralized exchange. Hashtag XRP community. Yes. But ultimately, I see the AMM as a trading engine. It executes a trading strategy on behalf of the those people who sort of provide the liquidity. So as most of you probably know, an AMM has a pile of two assets and it makes markets between those two assets. But it's also implementing a trading, um, a yield. So if, if you were an Apple buyer and seller and the prices of apples were different around the world, you could go around the world buying and selling apples and make a profit. And what you would have is you'd have a pile of apples and a pile of currency, whatever currency you like, euros or dollars, and you would buy apples and your pile of apples would go up and your pile of currency would go down. And you would do that when the price was low. And then you would sell apples, right, when the price of apples was comparatively higher. And if you do that, eventually your pile of, of money will get bigger. And that is essentially what the AMM tries to do. It implements a trading strategy to harvest volatility on behalf of the liquidity providers who loan it assets. I'm much more personally excited about that than I am about the fact that it provides liquidity, but it does also provide liquidity. It does also make markets. I don't know anyone that explains this technology better than David. Shout out to David Schwartz. So Robert Kiyosaki says, in Singapore at the same time, massive crypto conference is on. Very exciting. Crypto is the future. Fiat, aka fake money, is toast. <laughs> uh, so European Blockchain Convention, they posted, we're hyped to announce that Bob Ross will be speaking at the 9th E blockchain con with a rich entrepreneurial background. Bob is leading Corium official, the next gen layer one blockchain for decentralized apps. Join him and the global web free fam at EBC9 in Barcelona. That's going to be on October the 25th to the 26th, Barcelona. Shout out to Fabio. Fabio posted, great minds don't think alike, they think together. Closed a very productive week with a great team meeting. The next steps for Sologenic will be crucial. Hashtag go solo. Hashtag go solo. So let you see there. See, I have part of the Sologenic team there. It's good to see the teams together building through the bear market. Sologenic, Corium have just been building. So I posted enterprise grade blockchain and cloud services refers to running blockchain networks and applications in the cloud with features tailored for the needs of large organizations and institutions. Fireblocks, Microsoft, Intel. And I said, Microsoft, Intel and Fireblocks provide complementary enterprise grade blockchain capabilities in cloud services, confidential computing and, and digital asset management that could strengthen and expand Sologenics ecosystem. 
Follow the Sologenic Community chat. Link is in the video description. It's always in the video descriptions. Google Cloud Exec says Web3 is about solving business problems, not token prices. And he's correct to an extent. At the same time, the investors want the best buying opportunity for their money. We don't want to be buying the top, but Web3 is about solving business problems and real world problems. But for the investors and those that believe in the projects, we still want the nice prices. We still want the best price possible. We still want the discount prices. So Corium and Sologenic are in good buying opportunity, good buying ranges right now. Good DCA opportunities at the moment. So another article from Cointelegraph, how low can the Bitcoin price go? BTC can see lower prices in the coming months based on three bearish technical setups currently in play. I'm not gonna go over those setups. Just read, I'll just read this bit. As a rule of technical analysis, bear flags resolve after the price breaks out of their range to the downside and falls by as much as the previous downtrend's height. Applying these parameters to the ongoing Bitcoin price consolidation brings it spare flag target around 23K, around the $23,000 mark. So that's what they're putting out. Crypto bubbles, and as we can see, Atom up 3.3%, Link up 9.3%, Casper up 3.5%, E fairly even on the day, HBAR 1.2%, Bitcoin Cash up 3.7%, BNB up 2.1%, Crypto bubbles. And for the traders, liquidation heat map, total liquidations in the last 24 hours, 69.62 million wrecked. 30.89 million of those that went long and 38.73 million of those that went short. So if you want to stay up to date with the price of XRP and where the price is going, follow my brother XRP Future Millionaire. He'll keep you up to date on the price of XRP. So I'm going to leave it here, my people. I'm going to let this one roll out. I appreciate you all for the love and support of the channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video for me. I'm Solo Scrooge with the Solo News. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Other than that, though, if we break down... If we get a bull or a bearish candle tomorrow or at eight o'clock tonight to start, that's how you could see us actually deep diving. And the moment you lose this and reject upon this, the real support, the first support's at 405, which is about a 17% drop. But the ultimate support where I think we're hunting towards is that 38 cents. Did the crop the first time was a joke, got four back, it went all funny straight pain. But when the boxes came through, we ate and it was all yummy. Before you plant the seed, you find a decent soil, that's the pre.